Hi everyone, it is great to see you this week for Let's Explore. I'm Hannah and it is lovely to see you again. I hope you've had a good week. So I'll be filling you in on what we've been learning and the theme for this week is lighting the way. We are looking at some situations and looking at our lives and seeing actually where do we need to grow our courage? Where do we need to ask God to grow our courage in? So I've got some exciting Bible verses to look at today. Our first Bible verse is in Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9. And I'll read it to you now. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I think that's just such a powerful Bible verse. So important to remember. Really, really important. Where does our courage come from? And actually, do we need to be afraid? No, we don't, which is what it says. I've got another Bible passage, which I think would be great to look at. It's in Psalm. So it's Psalm 59 and it's verses 16 to 17. OK, let's read it and see what it says. But I will sing of your strength. In the morning, I will sing of your love. For you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. You are my strength. I sing praise to you. You, God, are my fortress, my God on whom I rely on. So I think this passage is amazing in the way actually we come to God as our refuge. And our times when we are struggling and times when we are fearful, actually this passage cries out that actually we can come to God. And this is exactly what David did. And I think we can learn from David, which would be amazing. So when I was younger, I used to be scared of the dark. I didn't like it whatsoever. So that was one of my fears. Oh my gosh, guys, the lights turned out. Fortunately, I have a light with me. Oh, brings so much light, doesn't it? This is my trusty torch, always have it with me. But I wonder what other light objects we might know about that could also help us in the dark. Fortunately, I'm okay because I've got my torch. So like I said, there are some things that help us when we are afraid of the dark and that bring us light. So obviously there was my torch. It's quite bright, isn't it? I don't know whether you can see it. Can you see my hand through it? lights it up doesn't it which is amazing so that really helps when you are afraid of the dark there are also other things that bring light let me show you we have a lantern look how beautiful that is we can carry this around and they used to do this when we didn't have light switches and it has a little candle in it i also have a bigger candle do you want to see it so i have this one as well which has a little wick. But you know what's amazing? It's that the little wick produces such an amazing bright light. But we do know it will sadly run out at some point. And that's the same with the torch as well. The batteries inside will run out at some point. So it's good for the moment. Another thing which helps me deal with my fear of darkness is my little friend, <laughs> my panda, <laughs> um, I have this in my bed and actually when I was younger I would hold it tight and that would comfort me. So I wondered, do you have anything that would help you if you were afraid of the dark? I know some of you might be still. Actually what other light objects that produce light could you think of? Or other things that would comfort you. So for me, like my panda, is there anything that comforts you when you need um, to find courage? Go and find them now and have a look at what you've got. So even though we've looked at all these other light sources, I think it's important that we come back to those Bible passages and we think, actually, like me, my fear of the darkness I cried out to God, God, please take away this fear and replace it with courage 
that actually I wouldn't be fearful of the darkness anymore, but I'd stand in God's courage and know that in my life. And this is what David did in that psalm. He knew God as his refuge and safe place and cried out to him in his hour of need. And this is exactly what we should do, where we've got situations and fears that we have. Actually, to overcome them, we know we need to go to God. And in Joshua's passage, it, there's such an important um, verse in it, which says, God is wherever we go. He is with us wherever we go. And I think that's such an important verse to come back to in our lives. I encourage you maybe to write this verse down. So it's in Joshua 1 verse 9. So as we close together, I just want to leave you with one question. One question to spend time this week thinking about. And the question is, where in our lives do we need to ask God to give us courage? Is there a particular time or situation where we do fear, feel fearful? And do we need God to meet us in that place and give us courage? So spend time um, looking at that and also looking at the questions that are going to be below as well. I hope you have an amazing week and I know it's the start of school for so many of you and I hope that goes so well. Know that we are here praying for you and thinking of you so much and we are behind you in prayer. We hope you have a great week and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!